Okay, I was, um, wasn't quite sure when I was going to do this quest. But, I decided to go and do, uh, Mark of the Assassin. Now, I knew that there were two, um, expansions to this game, which added, like, you had to access them by wandering into this room and going and firing up these statues here. And I wasn't sure when I was going to do it, so I was going to do one after, one during the, uh, second chapter, the second act, and one during the third act, and I figure I'm going to go and, uh, I already did Legacy, so now I'll do Mark of the Assassin. Now, be, be warned about this beforehand, just like with Legacy, and with anything involving, uh, Sebastian there, I don't have any real experience with this one, I'm vaguely aware of what goes on with this, but I didn't pick up these DLCs until... Well, after the games were released, and uh, after I'd first played them. So, I'm sort of going through this blind. Alright, no Bethany, but, uh... Hell, I don't know. Oh, uh... Looks like varric has gotta be a member of this. I don't know why, but okay. You've been wasting my time, Beric. It stops now. Seeker, you wound me. The champion nearly starts a war, and you're all too happy to bury it beneath your words. You will tell me about the Kunari. What's left to say? The Arashok was killed and a champion crowned. And yet we had Orlesians threatening sanctions of every kind and measure. What happened at Chateau Hain? What happened with Talis? You've heard about her? We had someone there, but they lacked your access. Whatever Talis was to the champion, it seems like it angered a nation. Thousands of lives were at stake, Seeker. Perhaps one still is. Huh. Nicely non-specific. <clears throat> All right, let me set the scene. An ambush. An invitation. A hunting party. All because of Talus. And of course, there's no one. All I know is it had something to do with you and nobles. Edge is usually very reliable. Reliable at leading us into an ambush, you mean? Why? It's not always an ambush. All right. Maybe sometimes it's an ambush. And there is the champion of Kirkwall. You die today. Okay, so we've got a new character just showing up. Let's uh, let's do some killing and then uh, figure this out. Oh, these are Antivan crows. They're assassins from Antiva. Severin from Origins is one of these people.
Oh, Hawk's down. That's ridiculous. some fine moves. I do, don't I? My name is Talus, and I've been looking for you. Looking for me? Looking for the woman who has an invitation to Chateau Hain, to be specific. Oh, that's what Edge was on about. You remember? Duke Prosper, the one who fawned all over you at the Champion of Kirkwall Banquet. He talked about a hunt. I doubt I'd go to such a thing. I was hoping you'd reconsider. The Duke is a delightful host, or so I hear. Let me guess, this isn't just a social call? I need to relieve him of something he has no right to possess. And I can't do it alone. You want us to be thieves? Well, stealing from more lesions is never wrong, or so I've been told. This isn't how I was planning to ask you this. I was picturing an introduction with less blood. What makes you think I steal things just because people ask me to? Uh, I may have talked you up a bit. Uh, maybe more than once. Oh, Varric. What? It's not like I'm exaggerating. Much. All I've heard is that you get things done. I'm hoping that's true. <laughs> Why not? I hear the Orlesians make excellent cheese. <laughs> that's right. You're Ferelden, aren't you? We're not actually dog people, despite whatever rumors you've heard. I'll keep that in mind. So tell me, what exactly is it you want to steal? A jewel. The Duke thinks it's valuable, and it is, just not in the way he believes. What's more, he shouldn't have it in the first place. He who wishes to walk on water must first learn to swim. Come with me to Chateau Hain. I'll explain everything on the way. If nothing else, you get fine wine and fancy company. But I hope you want more than that. I don't like the sound of this hawk. You think it's a trap? Or you don't want to steal from a local? I don't think we should be breaking laws for someone we just met. Okay, uh, well, we've got ourselves an offer, and we're going to go away, and, hey, stuff. Now, this character, um, I, uh, obviously played by actress Felicia Day, uh, the character, um, has quite a resemblance to the actress herself, with the obvious exception that she's an elf pointed ears, large eyes. A uh, bit of a reasonable resemblance to her. Okay, Varric doesn't need to be here anymore, but Talus does. So, uh, I don't know, freaking know. We already have two rogues, so I wouldn't bring Varric anymore. Need to bring a mage. Oh, I can bring uh, Bethany now. Not sure why. <laughs> I guess I'll find out. The jewel we're after is called the Heart of the Many. Interesting name. Interesting jewel. All I care about is getting it away from the Duke. Here's the problem. The heart is in a vault behind who knows what kind of traps. Protected by a private army of Orlesian Chevaliers. All inside a fortress that was designed to be impregnable. And let's not forget, it's on the side of a mountain, in the middle of nowhere, surrounded by monsters.
And dressed as dears Prosper. When is this going to get started? Presently. All right, everyone. You all know the tradition, yes? The first to find and slay Wyvern wins the honors of the evening. And bragging rights, of course. Good luck to you all. Lovely day for a hunt, don't you agree? Very outdoorsy. Ah, the champion of Kirkwall. These are honored guests. Please excuse Cahir. <laughs> a polite bodyguard is a contradiction in terms, or so I am told. A chastened? Here? Oh, yes. You are Ferelden, aren't you? You would know of his people. I know of Darkspawn, too, but I generally don't let them breathe on me. No. <laughs> he breathes on all the guests. Think of it as a rite of passage. And who is this lovely specimen? You flatter me, Your Grace. I must say, I didn't really expect you. I already have an Amel, you see. Or Orc, I suppose it is. A Grey Warden, no less. How they have suffered the blight this long with specimens like her, I will never know. Sister? Perhaps you should join forces to avoid any appearance of collusion between parties. At any rate, I won't keep you from the hunt. Wouldn't want you to fall behind the others, yes? I don't think I've ever encountered a Wyvern before. And why would you? There are exceptional beasts, magnificent cousins to the mighty dragon. My only advice? Beware their poison. It's the deadliest thing about them, as well as the most valuable. Their poison is valuable? Indeed. From it can be brewed Aquae Lucidius, a libation adored even by the Empress herself. The nobility feast upon poison. How appropriate. But here you are, wasting valuable time on questions. Do you wish the others to beat you to the prize? I don't think I've ever encountered a Wyvern before. And why would you? My only advice? Beware their poison. It's the deadliest thing. Good luck to you, my lady. Remember, fortune favors the bold. Okay, we got Bethany back. Uh, for some reason, she was recruited as a Grey Warden to take part in this hunt. Not like they're going to be Darkspawn or anything involved. Um, we have moved our way. Now, I thought it looked like on the map that we were still within the Free Marches. But I guess maybe we found our way all the way to Orlay because there are friggin' Orlesians everywhere. You know, a society based roughly on the French, I guess. They have French accents. The, um, everything's supposed to be, like, they base themselves around this idea of a very high society where they have sort of nobility and kind of posturing uh, is probably the most important aspects of their society. They waste a lot of energy on political uh, political maneuvering and that kind of stuff. When you speak to an Orlesian, I guess one thing you'd have to keep in mind is that they pretty much never say exactly what they mean. They hide all of their meanings behind sort of like either flowery language or or like veiled threats. They never come right out and say exactly what they're up to or what they expect of you. I have level ups. So let's go talk to some people. Could I leave if I had to? Please, I... Stop making such a fuss. Oh, the hunting grounds. Okay, I thought maybe that would take us back to Kirkwall. You have come a long way to join our duke, sirrah. You'll pardon me for saying that you do not seem like a hunter. A word of caution since you are new to this. Wyvern spit venom. 
Their victims suffer terrible pain before they die. Death is always the result, then. Depending on exposure, it may take days. But yes, death is always the outcome if the poison isn't treated. Since people hunt these creatures successfully, I imagine there's a trick to learn. Ah, oh, there are many tricks. It is best not to face the beasts head on. Flank them. Blind them if you can. Slow, agonizing death? This sounds less and less like a fun outing in the woods. Well, the venom can be treated, though it is not simple to do so. A distillation of herbs, equal parts, Drake Vein, Andraste's mantle, and Winterberry can counteract the poison. May the Maker's luck grace your hunt. Be safe, Sarah. Please return to the other guests. If you need anything before you join the hunt, I can assist you. Ooh, stuff. Ah, it's all low. Well, I do have a nice bow here. But, you know, it's... Ah, whatever. Got nothing but crap. Dagger doesn't really do us any good. A lot of crap I can sell, though. Alrighty, I guess uh, that's all we can really do in this area. I'll move on, though. It'll be in the next episode, though. So, uh... Oh! There was a chastened here. This guy here. A chastened is sort of a... They call them savages. I guess maybe they're... They're people who don't live in Ferelden society. In the sort of southern edges of it. We encountered some of these people in Origins. In, um... They had gathered, a number of them had gathered over in in Lothering after the Battle of Ostagar. I guess maybe they were driven out of the woods to the south by the Darkspawn. I don't know why this one is here. Let's see if he has anything to say. Probably not. Yeah, there we go. Do not, uh, do not mind my chasing bodyguard. I do not keep him for his eloquence. I wish you luck on your heart, Madame Hall. I don't know what this one's doing here. Uh, I guess maybe the reason... The reason probably why they're living down there is because they don't want to live in a society. And but what the hell's this one doing here? So, but it's not Ferelden society, so maybe you just didn't want to live in Ferelden. Eh, whatever. Moving on.